Hi everyone, this is Lourdes. And this is Tara. Today we are going to be focusing on the air energy signs. That's right. This is the third in a continuing series mm -hmm. where we are talking about astrological energies and we've broken them down by element. So if you haven't seen them already, we started with the fire energy because that's what kicks everything off. Mm -hmm. We moved on to the earth energy because that's where you are grounded and you appreciate everything mm -hmm. that you got going on in this world and, and you're enjoying it more and making it work for you. And now we've moved on to air energy. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. So air energy is mental. It's thoughts. It's ideas. It's in a lot of ways, the driving factor behind almost everything. It's mm -hmm. how we perceive things. It's how we communicate with others. It's how they communicate with us. It's how we, it's how we give. It's how we receive. Okay? Mm -hmm. it, it takes things a step beyond the physical. Which, if you look at the whole astrological year, mm -hmm. I mean, the cycle itself it just, it makes such perfect sense. And it's so perfectly in balance and in alignment. It's just, I, I love it sometimes. Just, I get very excited about, <laughs> about the zodiac wheel. And the way that the energy flows and takes you to a certain point. So as we're flowing, now, the, now we're flowing into the air, okay? And the first sign that we come, come to is the sign of Gemini, the twins. Mm -hmm. So... You, start, you, you, you kicked off the year with the fire energy of Aries. You enjoyed what, what you had with Taurus. And now you come to Gemini and you're like, this is nice, but maybe there's something else. Gemini is, is kind of the sign of questioning. All right? This is where you start thinking and you start thinking about options and other things and other ideas and well this is great but maybe this is great too and that's kind of all of the air energies are always going to be the things that help you to perceive and kind of disseminate your your ex the experience that you're having so that you can make conscious decisions about what you're going to enjoy what what you're going to have in your life okay so Gemini is the sign that gives you options sometimes I will give you a fair warning sometimes air energy can um, it, it can confuse us and it can because it's you know the mind is is so powerful um, and sometimes you're like look this is good enough why do why do I want to mess around with options and stuff like that because you're always growing and you're always moving. And we're in a wheel, we're in a cycle. You gotta keep the cycle going. That's the whole point of a cycle. You don't wanna become stagnant. Air will keep you from being stagnant. Air moves things. Different than fire. Fire sets you in motion. Air sets things in motion around you, okay? Think about that for a second. Use the air energy to think about it. <laughs> All right? So Gemini is going to give you some options. The second of the air signs, and Gemini usually occurs around, uh, around like May, June. Okay? Um, the second of the, um, of the air signs is Libra. Libra comes around October. And Libra is, is all about balance. Libra is all about peace. Libra wants to just make everything nice. Libra wants everything to be, if, if you know a Libra or you are a Libra, it's so hard not to like a Libra because they just, you know, the energy itself, it just wants everybody to be at peace and at balance. So if you need that in your life, if things are feeling chaotic, if you're feeling chaotic, if you feel like you need a breath of fresh air to just clear out all the clutter, look to Libra energy. And as I said in the other videos, just because it's not the dominant energy, okay? Maybe the sun isn't in Libra right now. That doesn't mean that Libra is not up there. <clears throat> Pardon me, that the Libra energy, it's always there, always. And a planet could be in there. You gotta remember the planets move at very different paces. Um, who is it? I think Jupiter spends, spends like a year in a sign. Saturn spends two years, stubborn Saturn. Um, you know, the, the, the planets don't all move that quickly. Some of the planets that are closer to us, like, you know, Earth moves 
through a sign. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Pardon me. Earth doesn't move through a sign. The sun moves through the signs quickly. I know it's not a planet, but you know. Um, the moon moves through, ev through every two days, the moon moves into a different sign. Um, Mercury moves fairly quickly. But as you go to the outer planets, you start going towards the Plutos and the Neptunes. You start seeing a longer span of time. So that means that that, that energy is even a little bit more accessible to you. Okay. Oh, and just one thing, for everybody who was wondering about the signs, we do have a series on the planets, excuse me, and the energy of the planets, and I will have a link to it below in the description box. Yeah, there you go. So we'll talk about planets, right? We're not, we're not talking specifically about the right. planets and the energies right now. Um, and, and definitely you can, you can mix the energies. Which would be great. So which, it, oh yeah, always. Yeah, like for instance, you know, Jupiter in, in Sagittarius is, is fabulous energy for expansion. But Jupiter, because Jupiter is, is the planet of expansion mm -hmm. and Sagittarius is, is a fire sign all about optimism. So that's great for, for expansion. But when Jupiter moves into Capricorn, that's going to ground it all. That's when you're going to see the benefits of all your work. You see how clever the zodiac, how the energy is, how it all flows. You do this, and then this happens, and this happens, and this happens, and this happens. And that's where you want to get to. You want to create your own cycle by working with these energies. Okay? So, um, that's the Libra energy. If you're looking for balance, if you're looking for... If you're feeling as if life is treating you unfairly, Look to Libra energy because Libra is also the sign of fairness. It's it's you know, and sometimes you can see how you could change something and feel better about it, or or think a better thought about it. The air signs really aren't about feeling as much as they are thinking. But once you think something, you're going to feel differently. Okay, and then the last of the air signs, um, part of the the limitless quadrant. Um, is the Aquarius, is Aquarius, okay? So Aquarius, again, no mental limits. Aquarius is, is the sign that, that it creates, that's always thinking of something new. It's innovation, it's humanitarianism, it's, it's all about how, what, what can I conceive of that will change things for the better. Okay? So again, if you're feeling stuck, if you're feeling as if you're you're just in in like a, a mental fog say, Aquarius is perfect to clear that out and help you discover a new path. Because Aquarius is really it's it's the energy of discovery. Um, it's the energy of, of innovation. It's, it's the energy that created YouTube. It's the energy, you know, mm -hmm. that, that's the kind of, and, and Facebook and all the, the, the advances that we have today. That's the kind of, of energy that you will always find with Aquarius. And again, it all starts in your mind. Everything starts with a thought. Okay? So that's why the air signs are so important and vital to your well-being. And call on them, no matter what the time of year. Aquarius comes around January uh, is when it dominates the sky. But if it's June and you're feeling, ugh, call on the Aquarius energy and let it help you clear, clear a path and start afresh. Thank you very much. Okay. And watch for our next and final one on the elements where we will talk about water. water. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. For Reiki-infused photos, occasional polls, and sometimes exclusive videos, please go to the Community tab, which is on my channel's homepage. If you're interested in receiving free Reiki during our group sessions, also uh, news and updates on energy, as well as my latest services, please go to my website, ReikiFromLourdes.com. Tara? Also, I, um, if you are interested in looking at the or learning more about the astrological energies that are surrounding you or surrounding a particular situation, I do a reading. I call it a happy horoscope reading mm -hmm. because it's always happy. Um, because there's always happy energy around you. Mm -hmm. It may be hard to see sometimes, but trust me, it's there. Um, I do do a happy horoscope reading. If you are interested... Um, I will have a, I don't really have like a, a, a website or anything like that, but 
I will um, post an email on Lourdes's website. I'll, I'll have a link in the description box. She'll, right, she'll have a link so you can go on the link and just send me an email and, and then I will get back to you and we can set up a time. We can either do it on the phone or I can send you an email with the results and I can um, give you a little bit better description of the um, of the the kind of reading that I do. Mm -hmm. She'll give you more information on her services. Right. right. Uh, also, if you have any questions on astrology, which are, again, not my forte. Feel free to send me an email. Please send a Tara an email because you can ask me. I won't know the answer. Yeah, but I'm, I'm always happy. You know, it may take me a day or two to, to respond, but I, mm -hmm. I, I'm always happy to. Any questions or, you know, anything that you want to know about them, I'm happy to, to help out. Yep. Okay. Thanks again. Thank you.